here at the NASGW show uh, near Orlando, Florida. Uh, it's where the uh, manufacturers set up and they show the uh, wholesalers around the country the new products coming out for the year, new guns and such. And it gives us about a two month jump on SHOT Show. Not much media covers this show, but we've covered it for years and we're going to see what we can find to tell people about this uh, new products coming out for the year. You know what? Uh, I think sales on ARs and such are booming. We just uh, just last night, Obama got reelected for some reason. You know, there's there's no shortage of stupid people in this world. But anyway, it's going to really affect gun owners and manufacturers. Uh, gun sales are booming, and uh, you know, ARs and stuff like that will probably sell out today for their production for the whole year. But there's some. I know that already we found out there's some good new ARs coming out at some good prices, and we're going to look at some of those and uh, just show you what new guns we can find here. Uh, that will be interesting. We're in a cold competition booth with Annie Foster, and she's going to tell us a little bit about their uh, wonderful 308 rifle they have. Go ahead, Annie. Thanks, Jeff. This is a new 308 for 2013, 20 inch barrel, 1 in 10 twist on here. We did six flutes externally, and a new Colt competition three chamber break. Uh, the handguard on here is modular. You can put rails on here, it'll come with one pick rail on top and two pick rails anywhere you want to put these. Um, upper and lower are made out of billet, and we put an ergo grip on this one and a PRS stock. Uh, bolt carrier group is lightened with a three and a half pound trigger. Okay, thanks, Andy. We're in the AgCore booth, and we're looking at uh, Michael Brown here. Is gonna, he's the designer of this weapon. He's going to tell us a little bit about their new H bar model. Go ahead, Michael. Good morning. This is, this is the new H bar model. It has a heavy barrel, uh, heavy barrel uh, upper receiver on here. Uh, forward ch place charging handle, same dust cover. It's a tactical H bar. Uh, should increase accuracy. It's really not increasing that much on the weight of the gun. Still has all your other features your forward place charging handle, your dust cover. That's a free floating piston system, correct? Is that right? Correct, yes, sir. Thank you. I'm going to first start with the boat carrier group. I'll show you the boat carrier group. You have the bolt carrier with the dust wiper and you have the, the rod, the bolt carrier key coming off, which stabilizes the bolt carrier, which keeps it in the bolt carrier any tilt down, rides in the bushing. Also gives you the ability to forward assist or charge the weapon from up front. The piston smacks up here, so it keeps all the, the heat and the dirt and the carbon in the back, in the front of the gun up there, in the back clean. Okay. Like you were saying, this is a free floating barrel. You can actually move the barrel. This piston system, if I may, to make this easier on your filming, I'll turn it around this way. Everything's toolless on the gun, field strip. This piston system gets its gas off a gas block, which has a gas tube. And here's your whole piston system right here. And you'll notice that the gas block is here. And when I rotate this around, it gets its gas off of that tube coming off the gas block. And there's a reason why it goes up and forward, and I'll explain that to you in a minute. The piston system is toolless as well. You can use your bullet, pull out your regulating plug, gas regulating plug, and your piston comes out. They're both chrome line and case hardened, and that allows you to run this thing completely dry. You don't need any oil, it's just going to cook off and create more grime to clean. Okay, so everything's real close tolerance, there's no rings on here, so that you don't have to worry about rings tearing or getting in line and they're not staggered. You can place your gas regulator back in there. We make these in multiple, multiple uh, 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 positions as far as two, four, uh, even standard suppressed, okay. When you slide this in, it's captured by this pin. And that's what keeps the free float. Also, when you notice that the gas tube, the gas came up off the barrel, came forward, and then went up into the bottom of the gas piston system. One of the things that, that the gas piston systems do, they sort of take the gun out of time a little bit, and they're opening, trying to open up and, and extract these bullet, the, the casings, while there's still a lot of pressure on there. With the gas system going up, over and forward and up, it's all motion, it's all distance and it's relative to letting the pressures drop in the chamber, okay, before trying to extract it. I really like your gas system. It's simple, reliable, uh, easy to adjust. I love your charging handle. Our readers before when we reviewed it, 
they love the charging handles. You can flip it over either side. And what twist rate you got in this barrel? One in seven twist. We find that one in seven twist handles just about everything. You know, keep us away from pointing to you. Yeah, the one in seven twist seems to stabilize everything out there, and and you know it doesn't over stabilize down to 50 grain. All right, well, thanks a lot. Thank you very much for your time. We're here in the Bond Arms booth with uh, Gordon Bond and Amy Graves. They're going to tell us a little bit about the uh, uh, Gordon new hammer and trigger he's got for his uh, Bond Arm Derringer. Go ahead, Gordon. All right. Yeah. How you guys doing today? Yeah. The uh, change that we've made is uh, the uh, the hammer was a little slim, and uh, for some people a little hard to pull back. And the uh, trigger, some people had trouble with it. Uh, you know, most people didn't. But what we'd been uh, working on for, for quite a while is trying to ease that trigger pull on this type of gun. The normal trigger pull actually goes down and back. And so, uh, uh, one, you know, instead of straight back like most guns. So what we did was we widened the hammer, which you can probably see that okay. And we've changed the uh, configuration of the, uh, the trigger to give it a little bit more curve, a little bit longer, and it makes it a lot easier to uh, pull the trigger. And you know that's that's pretty much the change on that. We've gotten really good reviews with uh, the people that have tried it out, and I think uh, Jeff's going to be doing uh, a little, yep uh, soon. We're going to have with a, it a little upcoming review on that. All right, thanks a lot, Gordon. All right, thanks, guys. I'm here with Rick Homie, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the Howell Whitetail package. Go ahead, Rick. Jeff. For 2013, we're offering a new Hawa line in the um, moon, excuse me, the moonshine camo configurations of Muddy Girl, which is the one I'm holding here, Outshine, which is a brown and black camo, and Harvest Moon, which is an all black and silver camo. Uh, these guns are called the Whitetail Package. They come with a 20 inch number one taper barrel. They come with a shaved receiver, hollowed bowl handle, You've got the uh, interchangeable magazine kit that brings this from a four-round magazine to either a five or a ten, available in all of our popular short action calibers, 204, 223, 243, 308, 7mm08. Uh, comes with a bipod as part of the package, and also an Eco Sterling 3 to 10 42 scope. That's a good looking scope. Yeah, it is. Uh, and again, you know, three different camo patterns. Uh, whether you're a lady or a guy or a child, I mean, we've got something to match for you. And it's basically your tried and true how action. It's the Howa M1500. It's got the good trigger yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, it's got the hack two stage trigger uh -huh. in it. Uh, it's got the uh, two locking lugs uh, forged bolt uh -huh. and receiver. Um, I like the detachable box. That's a good picture. A yeah, and it's, like it's that, easy. Huh? I tell you what, when you're in the field, out, in, it's easy to install too because of certain regulations we can't sell it pre-installed but we uh -huh. put it in the box uh -huh. <coughs> and literally it takes two minutes. And you change out your bottom metal, right? Exactly. That's all you do. You take out the inner sleeve from your box magazine, take out your base plate, put this new trigger guard assembly in and you're ready to rock and roll. Will that work on, you sell it as an accessory for your other rifles? Yes, we do. Also? Any short action Howe caliber rifle. And it'll also work on the older Smith and Wesson Howes, uh -huh. and also on the Weatherby Vanguard. Okay, well, cool. All right, thanks, Rick. We're here in the ATI booth, and I'm with uh, David Hunchker of Head Down Farms, and he's going to show us a really unique weapon that he got that I think everybody's going to be excited about. Go ahead, David. Uh, what you got here is a, a standard 16-inch carbine. Uh, we broke it down into two parts. It fits in this cool little box. Um, you got your standard lower receiver, upper receiver group. Uh, there's really nothing special about it. No spec. You have a upper receiver. On this upper receiver, we've got a, a latch. We've got a cam pin that pops out. Slide it forward. This then drops into your upper receiver, like any other standard barrel would. You take your barrel nut. You hand tighten it. Another back. You're going to put your rail guard on there. So then you push your cam pin in. Lock it. And you have yourself a 16 inch. Thank you, David. That's slick. Right. I'm here with Antoinette in the Galati booth. She's going to tell us about some new interesting stuff she's got here. Go ahead. Hi. 
This is our new zombie bag. Um, this is a spinoff from our popular Super Range bag. And it has a pocket back here where you can hold the gun and uh, magazines. And then you have a pocket here for another pistol or accessories. Padded shoulder strap. We use all YKK zippers. The inside of the bag has two Velcro removable dividers. And we've named this our zombie bag because it's a simple green range bag. It's guaranteed to keep any zombie out of your guns that you want to keep out. And this is the mini super range bag, a smaller version that only comes in black right now. Um, another popular item is our tactical response bailout bags that the guys really like. It's like a man bag. Uh, carry dump pouches, you could dump ammo in there, magazines in there. Um, we've got our plate carrier vest with the comfort bun without and all of our Molly accessories. The beauty of them is that on the back we've added Velcro. So all you have to do is take the Molly accessory and put it inside of one of our double rifle cases or square cases that features the female velcro on it.